hello everyone and welcome back to my channel in this video i will talk about genetic correlation phenotypic correlation and environmental correlation i will also discuss the differences among them so we will start by defining the genetic correlation genetic correlation is actually a genetic parameter and it describes the genetic relationship between two traits it tells us how much genetically two traits are related so we can define genetic correlation as a measure of strength of the relationship between breeding values of two traits we can also define genetic correlation as a measure of pleiotropy but what is pleiotropy if one gene controls the expression of more than one traits then this phenomena is known as pleiotropy now we will see the example of genetic correlation the genetic correlation between key length that is a skeletal measurement which is shown here key length and body weight in turkeys is estimated to be 0.5 we can say that genes that increase key length also increase body weight in turkeys because there is a positive genetic correlation between uh, key length and body weight so when there is a positive genetic correlation between two traits then the selection for one trait will increase the other trait so if you select for key length the body weight will automatically be increased or if you select for body weight the key length will automatically be improved now we will see the example of negative genetic correlation negative genetic correlation is uh, is observed between milk yield and milk fat percentage that is about negative 0.3 so in this case the genes that increase milk yield also increase the water content of milk but these genes decrease the fat content so selection for uh, increased milk yield will decrease the fat content in milk so our next topic is phenotypic correlation so how can you define phenotypic correlation phenotypic correlation describes the relationship between the phenotypes of two traits so it tells us the relationship between phenotypes it it does not tell us about the genetic relationship okay so we can also define phenotypic correlation as a measure of strength of the relationship between the performance of two traits how phenotypically two traits are correlated so does there any difference between genetic and phenotypic correlation what do you think sometimes the estimates of genetic correlation and phenotypic correlation are same but not always so we can say there might be some differences between genetic correlation and phenotypic correlation for example the genetic correlation between birth weight and yearling weight in beef cattle is about 0.7 and the phenotypic correlation between birth weight and yearling weight is just 0.35 which is the half of the genetic correlation so you can see here there is a big difference between the genetic correlation and the phenotypic correlation so here comes one question that what is the reason for the difference in the genetic and phenotypic correlation between two growth traits both the birth weight and yearling weight are growth traits but the growth is measured at different age points so the genes that control one growth trait they also control the other one but why phenotypic correlation is lower than the genetic correlation the phenotypic correlation and the genetic correlation are different for growth for these two growth traits because there is an other type of correlation is available so we have to identify that correlation that is also known as environmental correlation 
so this environmental correlation is the cause of the difference between the genetic correlation and the phenotypic correlation between two quantitative traits and this environmental correlation can be defined as a measure of the strength of the relationship between environmental effects on one trait and environmental effects on the other traits it tells us about the relationship between the environmental effects on two traits as you know that birth weight and yearling weight are measured at different age points so there are different environmental factors which affect the the performance or the phenotype of these traits and due to this reason there is a very weak environmental correlation that is about 0.1 which is just negligible so we can say the difference between the genetic correlation and environmental correlation between birth weight and yearling weight was observed because there were some different type of environmental factors which affect these two traits so this was a short video on genetic correlation phenotypic correlation and environmental correlation thank you for watching it